Excuse me, pardon me. What do you need, brother? Excuse me, you there? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Yeah, why not? Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. I have been advised. Am I dealing drugs? Did this man just hand me, like, cocaine? Just wondering. Let me look at this again real quick. Back this way. Let's go grab these other two side quests. I think the game said earlier that we can have three side quests active on the right side of the screen at once. Hello. Sergeant's got it in for us two. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the Dame's being... Properly looked after. <laughs> the pride comes before a fall. Absolutely. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. I might hold back a little bit. I feel like I shouldn't turn into a freak on you. That might be a wee bit much. Yeah, I, I jumped to intimidate my enemies. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? I will draw my blade. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Language. Sup, punk? Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Come Use on. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. I wanted to parry you there, but I guess I was too early. Come on. That wasn't a parry, really? Come on. Come on. How is that not a parry game? I want my parry. There we go. Kaka! Alright. So you know 
one end of a blade from the other. Next. Dude, you're so yeah, bad at this. Enough. I, yield. Mm, I don't think you've yielded yet. Now you have. Fuck me. Language. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Bring it, dude. How to bearer win the dame's favor anyway? Easily. I went to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> oh, I was too late. Fair. It's harder to tell when to parry this guy because of his weapon. Come on, come on. There we go. Get punished, idiot. Come on then. What you got, bud? Too early. Come on, Robin, come on. Let's go. It's over. it's over. Dude, parries and precision dodging is so much friggin' fun in this game. Oh, I was way too late. I didn't expect him to be that fast. Come on, then. Too early. A little hard to tell on that move. Come on. Way too early. I didn't realize he was doing such a big swing. Such a wind-up. There we go. You're done. I'll be dead. Got him right on the toe. Thank you for the four AP, loser. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Leon can fall in a well. Robin is cool, though. That was a fun little parry practice. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the, veil, then. the bones fell favorably. Oh, hello, side quest. Wait, what's this? Daily regimen, roll call, morning prayer, round, striking dummies, midday rations, the butts, tin quivers, what? Armored sparring, kit maintenance, groundskeeping, roll call. All right. I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare costs little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. 
What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and I've already risked much speaking with you this long. Alright, good talk, good talk. Friend of the people. Yeah, it's sounding the mighty barbaric. Enough. We can't let people starve as well. I have a lot of way markers to go to. Hold up, hold up. Investigate the garrison. Let's let's go over here first. Then the main mission marker. Then all these other side quest markers. What's happening here, eh? Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Okay. Later, maybe. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Language. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. She War sure does. The last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Well, first I got a lot of side quests to do. Like a lot. <sighs> You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Better than nothing, I guess. They really got that dude over there using his magic powers to make wind happen to dry sheets faster. That's insane. How do I get over there? Oh, hello. Did not mean to do this. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Wait a minute, I got any lore to read? That's super cool, I would so do that. What, the blowing wind to dry your clothes a little bit faster? Yeah, it really seems worth turning into a petrified rock within like 10 to 20 years. Seems super worth it to dry your clothes like a day faster. Good call. Northreach. A town which doubles as a defensive gateway to Sandbreak's holy capital of Oroflame. It was originally a purely military outpost, a towering bastion constructed to prevent land-based assaults on the capital from the southwest. To this day, a heavily guarded checkpoint ensures that none can pass through the walls without prior authorization, and as such, the need to linger here prior to entering has led to the rise of a thriving market and various other commercial enterprises on the wall's southern side. The garrison, however, along with the inns and brothels most of the soldiers frequent, as well as the residents of the nobles who make Northreach their home, remain on the northern side. The Vale. Northreach's premier house of companionship. While it is frequented mainly by Sandbreak's nobility and military, Lady Isabel becomes 
or it becomes, welcomes all with the desire and the coin to partake of the pleasures her skilled courtesans and courtiers offer. Few establishments in the Empire are as well loved or as oft visited. Marks. Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Valisthea to pin such marks to the bearers in their possession that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Isabel, proprietress of the Vale, Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, and one of Sid's trusted collaborators. Isabel is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement, qualities that have earned her the title, The Dame. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. All right. Well, first, I've got like a lot of side quests to clean up. Let's do that. Quest destination nearby, you say? Why, hello there. I have something for you. There you go. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Pretty sure that woman's leg and arm were already turning to stone. Ouch. Can I do this part now, or is this still, like, not yet? Oh, his foot is going stone. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! You'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, but... It's rough being a bear. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway... I better head to the veil. Well, let's go all the way up here and hit up these three side quest points first. Deliver all these packages. Then we'll go back to the veil and turn that in, because I'm not sure if I also need to go turn anything in after turning in these. And then we'll go to wherever we need to. We'll go to a more. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master, anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. More drugs? All this for a drink. Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, 
They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Betty Ann likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. That is how the economy works.